Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday to us all. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. Uh, wasn't the best weather wise, obviously, but you know, it is what it is. Um, welcome back. And uh, thank you, everyone, as always, for following this and seeing how it goes. Now, I did say last episode, and I will confirm this if I win the Scottish Premiership in this season, this save will come to an end. Um, I feel like that's the natural end. If, if I don't win the title, then I will do another season and see how it goes. At the moment, we're in a good position. We are literally one point behind Celtic, but the same amount of games played. Um, but Hearts are quite close as well, and they've got a game ahead of us. So it's very interesting. Like the Premiership at the moment, you've got three teams that could potentially win. Um, like the English Premiership, sorry, and that's the same with the Scottish Premiership. We've got quite a few games ahead of us still. And obviously, we've got the Championship playoffs as well that they do so we've got some big games ahead of us Hibs Celtic Celtic again Hearts Rangers Aberdeen Hibs again so yeah plenty to play for let's just check where we are as I said we are second so yeah one point behind um, I just holidayed a few days as well so we'll just see how this goes um, right he needs to go. If he's not turned to training, I don't want him here. I don't care how good he is. If he's being a stroppy mare, stroppy little, stroppy little crybaby, then he is out the door. Right, let's just go through these as quickly as possible. Ah. Uh, very entertaining game, Man United versus Liverpool. We were very lucky though. I think Liverpool any other time at any other time Liverpool probably would have beat us. Uh we were very lucky to get that draw. I was disappointed though that they equalised though. I was really, really hoping we'd win just to just to see all the Liverpool fans cry. Um, that'd have been funny. Unfortunately with the draw they've still got they've still got hope for the title. I just don't want them to win because there's a there's a couple of Liverpool fans on the side games forums. Uh, Copsy, you're not one of them. You're a decent bloke, by the way. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a few others, and there's one particular one that he just loves posting things about Liverpool every day. It just it's just induced. It's just a it's just oh it's just annoying. Um, he's very passionate though. I can't have a go at him too much. He's just very passionate about Liverpool, but. And then they're just so smug as well. It's just I just don't want them to win the title because it's just never the end of it. Right. So uh, oh, I'll just took him off the transfer list. No, I don't want to take him off the transfer list. Right, there we go. Right, Hibs next game. Let's see if we can get back on track. Let me have a, actually. I'll have a look at the fixtures and see how we did. Uh. How did we do last episode? I can't remember. So we won two, drawn one, and lost one. So that's not too bad. Just to give you a small update on Baxter the dog, he is uh, starting to do his business. We'll call it uh, a lot more outside, which is good. He likes going. For, he actually is starting to like go for walks, other than when the weather's really bad and he does not want to move. He will try and dig his feet in. He does not like it when it's cold and wet. But we live in England. It's mostly cold and wet nine months of the year. He's not going to be an indoor dog. He's going to go out and walk because I live in a flat. I don't want him constantly doing his business in my flat. It's disgusting. So, yeah. So, he, he, he's got a coat on, so he keeps dry. And I just he eventually just accept it for what it is. Um, but anyway, right. Back on track with this save. So we've got Tickle in goal, Ayana is right back, Naraki and Beast in defence, Bruce on the left, Krasniki and um, Petrovic in the middle of the field, Corella, Bar and Ruiz, and then Hoyt up front. Uh, see how we get on. Hopefully we can start this episode on a high, on a high note. But yeah, I have enjoyed this save. Um... And I can carry, I could carry on for another season or two if if I still didn't win the chat the Premiership, but I just I know realistically I'm not going to be able to win 
Euro well, a European trophy, maybe the, the Conference League, maybe, if I'm lucky. But even that's a tough one because some of the teams in the in the Europa Conference League are big teams. I mean, we played um, Barcelona in this season's one, so I just feel like it would just be. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I did pause then. Uh, I just feel like it'll be a complete. I just think it just wouldn't work out. So um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've got another save lined up, ready to go. I think it'll be quite fun. Right. Let's see. If I want to end on a high note, though. If we're going to end it this season, then I want to end it as champions. I think that's the natural conclusion. I think that would be the best way to end the save. Because you've got to bear in mind, it is now... Um, but we're looking at April now, so in about four or five months' time, the new football manager will be coming out. So it gives me four or five months to get my teeth uh, into another save. Hoyland with potentially a goal here, but might be offside. No, goal awarded, that's good. Right, we've got another corner. Ruiz now with the ball. Cross to Krasnicki, gives it to Petrovic. Petrovic with a long shot. Doesn't always work out for him when he does that. Sometimes it does, though. He is pretty good at long shots, Petrovic. Ruiz with the free kick. It's a bit wide. How's the other teams doing? Celtics drawing, Hearts are winning, Rangers are winning, Ross County's winning. I don't think that favours us in any way. Ruiz here with the free kick. He's known to score him from here. It's in his range. He lines it up. Oh, saved by the keeper, I think. Right, Ruiz with the corner. No, leads to nothing. You can hear a weird noise, it's um, Baxter snoring his head off, bless him. Yeah, we we need to concentrate on hearts and hopefully hearts won't win. And then it will just be hopefully between me, uh, us and Celtic then. But yeah, we're winning at the moment. We still could do we get another goal, settle the, settle the nerves a bit. Ayane. Back to Tickle. Tickle sends it across to Beeston. Beeston drives it forward. Pass it to Krasnicki. Krasnicki. Uh, Corella. Nice bit of passing going on here. Krasnicki. Good ball to Ruiz. Ruiz with a good goal. That's what we want to see. 2 0. Right, there we go. Let's give the players some praise now. Uh, yeah, we are. Let's have a look at the scores. So, Celtics winning. So, that doesn't help us. And Hearts winning. So, yeah, maybe Livingston, Livingston can do us a favour and uh, get a late equaliser, but I can't see it happening. Right, Krasnicki's tired. Who have we got for him? We ain't got anybody. So we'll have to stay on the pitch. Uh, yep, yeah, two nil. So nothing changes by the looks of it. It's it's going to be the same people in the same positions by the end of it. Rangers getting a win here. Hopefully a consolation goal. I hope they don't get an equaliser now coming up. All right, we've got a few tired legs on, so let's take let's take some players off. Uh, we've got no players to put on for you. Weller. We'll put on Medina for you. Ruiz, we'll take you off and we'll put Ali Wani on and then put you on. Uh, 
I want to take off Chris Nicky. Put him on. Right. Let's try and keep this lead. Let's hope for a miracle and Livingston get a late equaliser. Celtic's still only winning one nil. And you never know. Probably not going to happen though by the looks of it. Right. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, yep. Yeah, nothing changes, but at least we get a win. We're keeping ourselves in the mix. We're still only one point behind Celtic. Right, we've got Ross County next game. So, um, oh, let's just see if there's anything worth mentioning. Just give these a bit of praise. Right, then I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. Right, we're back. Um, let's just go through a few of these. We've managed to oh, managed to sign Rocco. So we've got Rocco and a Rocky and Rocky now. So uh, Hugo Alba's gone on loan to Malaga. Sorry, Malaga. I apologise. And uh, they've took most of his wages, which is good. We've had rubbish offers for him, but probably not going to get any better offers. Very highly rated though. Uh, the wins give us 20% of his next transfer fee, so we'll just accept it, get him out the door. Uh, yeah. Whenever I criticise them, they never work. They, ne they never go, oh, okay, boss, I'll do better, and then they do better. They always kick off, and then it never, ever goes well. I don't know why I bother. I should just ignore the red ones. I think that's what I'm going to do, ignore the red ones from now on. I say that, but I'll probably still do it because I get really annoyed by them moaning. Um, I, I really get I get annoyed by them not playing well, not training well. Right, Dorigo's gone. Another one of the old guards out. Uh, let's just exit that now. Cove Rangers. Alright, so we've got some of the happy players here. So what we're going to do is... Uh, usually it lets you... Uh, uh, oh, I'll just leave it because it will take too long to sort out. Right, Ross County next. Taking a while to process. I don't know what's going on with this particular save. Um, my other saves on FM aren't running as slow. So I know it's not an issue with my laptop. I have recently installed some um, dry, a dry, uh, program called Driver Booster. So I updated a lot of old drivers. And then also I've got a thing called Advanced System Care as well, which has got a game booster. So I've done, I'm doing everything I can to try and speed up this game. But it just seems to be taking a while. There we go. Right. Right. I think it's pretty much. I don't know. Ashby's in. Ashby's is right back. Uh, Rios is in midfield with Petrovic. Siska is on the right. Uh, Muluget is in the middle. Medina's on the left. And Anawanu is up front. So I assume the assistant managers rotate the team for a reason. Hopefully he thinks we're going to convincingly win this game, and I hope so too. Right, see how we get on. 
Celtics playing today and Hearts are playing today as well. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Hopefully Dundee United do us a favour. Same as uh, Livingston. Even though Livingston didn't exactly help us last game when they lost. Oh, there you go. 1-0. That's good. So we're now top. If we win this game, we'll be top by a couple of points. But it's early days yet. Um, Celtic probably will get back into that game. So we need to concentrate on our performance. Well, the getter. Medina. Oh, Medina caught the keeper off there. By the way, Kobe Mainu's uh, goal yesterday against Liverpool was freaking amazing. What a great goal. So, yeah, Dundee United still winning. We could do a win in there. If we lose, it kind of makes... I mean, it would be typical of us to lose this game when we've got a chance to get to the top of the league. All right, Siska, get in. Petrovic, fourth goal of the season. Great little pass by Siska to set him up. Celtic's still losing as well, which is good. Is that Richie Moran? I don't know. I thought for some reason I sold him Richie Moran. Ah, 1-1. One, one. Ah, that's a bugger. Good tackle there by Ashby. We've still got possession though. We'll get it back though. Go on, Siska. Oh, nearly. All right, we've got a corner. Bruce is knackered though. Got a yarn I want. Ashby with the corner. Floats it in. Fortunately, goes out for a throw. All right, so it's 1-1 one, one in the Celtic game. 0-0 nil, nil in the Hearts game. Coming up to half-time. Right, let's see if we can get a bit more out of the players. Corner. Ross County now have it. Are they going to counter attack here? Uh, take off Petrovic and I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna take him off now. Right, who do we put on? Right, join I can come on for him. We'll take off Adiyanu and we'll put Hoyland up there. So it's still Oh yeah, oh no, hearts are winning, that's a shame. I've got an itchy finger, sorry. Right. Ashby now drives it forward. Can we get another goal? Floats it up. He does. Emil Hoyland with his 18th goal of the season. Doing very well. Best season he's had so far with us. Uh, still 1-1 one, one in the Celtic Dundee game. And uh, Hearts are winning. So maybe, hopefully Dundee can get a late, Dundee Knight can get a late winner. We can hope. And pray Celtic will probably score though. But even if Celtic draw, that helps us. Hearts winning doesn't though. Very ah, uh, there you go. Ah, uh, normal service has resumed. Celtic with the late winner. That's such a shame. No team, no neither team is giving an inch at the moment. We're all just trying to win every game now. God, this is just so slow. This is the main reason why I want to quit this save. It's just suddenly just gone really bad. Right. So, yeah, still the same. We've got Motherwell next. So, uh, in a second, I'll uh, holiday through to that game. And then we got Livingston after that, which hopefully we win that one because they've lost the last two games. 
Right, let me just follow that. Oh, pardon me, I apologise. Right then, back in a minute for the next part of the episode. Hello everyone. Um, so I went to do the next bit of the game and then the software I'm using accidentally recorded uh, another game that I record for for TW. So um, unfortunately you didn't get to see, you got to hear me, but you didn't get to see what I was seeing on the screen. So we'll just have to, uh, I'll just have to give you a quick recap what happened. But basically, uh, it was a bit of a disaster. We drew nil nil with Motherwell, even though it was a game we should have definitely won. Um, and then also Celtic won and Hearts won. So we are now um, third, which is really annoying. So, yeah, so we'll just have to power through, really, and then hope that we beat Livingston. Uh, we got Celtic next game as well, so that's going to be tough. Right, Tezigel has gone to Dundee United on loan. I don't know whether that's for... Oh, it will be in January. So we've got a few coming in in January and a few going out in January, which is usually the norm. But yeah, we've got Livingston next. Um, I will say we should beat these, but then we should have beat Motherwell, and we didn't. So, yeah. Um, but you never know. No, now that we'll probably lose to Livingston and then beat Celtic. It's usually the way. But yeah, um, Chucky's going to Kilmarnock. Camacho uh, is going to Swansea. We've signed in Rocky, Rocky Bashiri and Rocco uh, Sikovic to, to go alongside the Rocky that we've already got. Uh, yeah. Right. So here's our lineup for the game against Livingston. Why is Hoyland not playing? Uh, he's oh he is he is there. Right, I don't know why he's not playing. He should be playing. Um. So yeah. So we've got tickling goal. Ashby on the right. Ayano is left back. Vivas in the rocky in the centre defence. Joiner in midfield with Johnson. Siska on the right, Bar in the middle, Medina on the left, and Hoyland up front. So let's see how we get on. I think this the assistant manager has decided to rotate this team for a reason. So I assume uh, he's confident that we should win this. That's why he's rested a few players, but I wanted to put Hoyland in there. Right. Let's bloody beat Livingston. Celtic are playing Hearts today, so at least we've only got one game to worry about instead of two. Hopefully, I mean, it doesn't actually benefit us, whoever wins, but maybe a, I think draw, a draw is the best result for us in that game. If Celtic win, it's going to make it really hard for us to win the Scottish Premiership. So, But then if Hearts win, they're top of the league, so then it will make it harder then, I think. I'll have a look at the league in a sec. We've got to win this game. That's the most important thing. Everything else we can worry about afterwards. Ashby to Siska. Bar. Great ball by Johnson to Medina. Back to Johnson. Good goal there. I think it took a deflection. Annoyingly, my dog Baxter's decided to wake up, so I'm assuming all chaos is going to begin. Hopefully it won't affect this recording. Right, let's see how we get... Oh, there we go. Let's get another goal. Oh, come on, Hoyland. I think he was offside anyway. Yeah. So it's still nil-nil, so that works out in our favour. Only nine minutes gone, though. We are all over them in this game, though. We retain possession through Naroki. He passes back to Tickle. Tickle now. Back to Naroki. 
over the top ball there, long ball. Bar passes it to Ziska. Good save by their goalie. Right, so we're currently second. But yeah, like I said, if Celtic win, they are, I don't know, five points clear. But yeah, actually, actually, to be honest, we'll probably do it with Hearts winning or a draw. We can't. We don't really need. We don't really want Celtic to win. Right, throw into us. Johnson. Ashby. Ashby with the shot takes a deflection back to uh, Medina now. We are knocking on the door again. We should. Uh, we should have had a couple by now. Right, their goal kick. Bar to uh, Ziska to Medina. Medina is should be doing better with them chances. Medina's playing well though. Apparently, he's got a seven point eight rating, so he's doing well. He obviously got the assist for the first goal. Ashby over the top ball goes straight to their defence. Can he get the ball back? No, he can't. Uh, Livingston look very frantic. They've lost the ball. Siska. Joiner. Siska now. Good goal. Still nil nil in the Celtic Hearts game, so that works out well for us. Corner to us. Oh, nearly get another one. A uh, bit of a quiet one for the rest of this half, by the looks of it. Livingston with the corner now. Can they get back into this game? Hopefully they can't. There you go. Still nil nil in the Celtic Hearts game. Perfect result for us so far, I think. When it comes to that, we can just try and relax a bit. And well, I say that now they've got to throw in their probably score. Oh, there you go. And it's one of our former players as well, the Admiral. All right, Hoyland's not playing very well, so he needs to come off in a minute. Uh, I might have to leave him on because there's other players that will have to come off. All right, join it. Oh, Bar loses the ball. Over the top ball. He's offside, isn't he? He's offside. That's got to be offside, surely. How is that not offside? He was massive. Up. <sighs> and we're all coming back to haunt us here. Baxter not helping matters either. Won't leave me alone. This is typical behaviour. Oh, and Celtics win in as well. Ah. We can kiss goodbye to first place. I don't think we're going to win the title this season now. Still plenty of games, don't get me wrong, but you know, we're set we're playing Celtic next. Would have been nice if we won this game and Celtic drawn, and then if we had if we beat Celtic, we could have got ourselves back in there, but these things don't happen on Football Manager. So uh, they'll probably score now. They're the better team. We are playing really poorly. Yana needs to come off. Uh, so does. Right, so we'll put Beeston on. Hoyland's just playing absolutely terrible. Right, 
go very attacking. Bring the midfielders in. Here. Um, and then right, swap his role. Play him as an advanced forward. Hopefully that'll help his performance. Right, let's fire up the players. Let's get one last go at this. Now, Livingston in possession, which doesn't make me feel good. Makes you think that we're going to lose this game now. No, we get possession now. Come on, that's it. Hoyland, what a ball. What a ball. Get in. Oh, at least we won this game. It would have been a lot worse if we'd drawn it. Then again, there's still time. They might get an equaliser. Come on, Hearts. Do us a favour. Right, and Yamu. Oh, hit the post. Flick the crossing. Come on, Hearts, do us a favour. Last minute equaliser, come on. Not us, not, not Livingston, by the way. I meant, I meant Hearts. <laughs> I nearly jinxed us then. Go on. Oh, nearly. Right, at least we're still second. At least there's that. Unfortunately, Hearts are Celtic two points. Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. There were five points ahead when we were drawing, so I'm assuming they're two points ahead, three points ahead. So yeah, so if we beat them next game, then uh, we'll see from there. Right, Siskit, yeah, we're doing well. Uh, Lipovic has gone to Cove Rangers. Be going in January, so we'll just skip forward now, and I'll be back in a minute. But next, with the Celtic game, all right? We're back for the final part of the episode. We've got a big game ahead of us against Celtic, uh, a must win game, really, in theory, if we want to keep our chances for the league title in hand. Um, just get through this as quick as possible. Uh, I don't want him anymore, so get rid of him. Messi, maybe a good signing if we can sign him. No, doesn't want to come to us. What about Nico Pia Nico pa uh, Pez? No, doesn't want to come to us. Uh, he's no longer good enough. Oh yeah, Louis Louis Watson. Never heard of him. He's on my uh, short list, but I don't remember. He's not good enough anymore. Uh, he's not good enough, get rid of him. Probably not good enough, so get rid of him. He's good. No, won't come to us. Not good enough anymore. And, uh, oh, he will come to us. He'd be a good sign for us. Right, Celtic next game. Come on, let's go. Right. Um. Swinton, not good enough, so we'll just get rid of you anyway. Come well, on, let's get this game started. Um, sorry if the audio has been all over the place, if it sounds different in each parts of this episode. Um, I apologise, I'm having issues with my mic, I can't afford a new one, so I'm having to just make do with the one I've got, um, even though it is beyond useless. Uh, I'm not happy with CEX who sold me this, because it's been like it since the first couple of days I've had it, so uh, I might even look to see if they'll take it back off me or something. 
or I have it back because I think you get like one I think you got one year warranty on it or something like that. So yeah, I think I've got I've got the receipt somewhere. So I think I might take it back. Right then. Right, here we go. So we've got Tickle in goal, Ashby on the right back, Vivaz and Deeston in centre defence, Bruce on the left, Petrovic and Rios in sorry, Petrovic and Rios in the middle of the field, Moraes on the right, Bar in the middle, Ruiz on the left, and Ani run uh, Ani Amu up front. So why is Hoyland not there? Is Hoyland not even on the bench? Hoyland's not on the bench, or he must be injured or something. Uh okay. So that's not good. Our main striker not playing. Maybe we just hope to get a draw. Right. The Hearts playing. Hearts are playing Dundee United, so but we'll try not to concentrate too much on that game. We just need to concentrate on ours. Going to Celtic, first highlight goes to them. Good, there we go. Good clearance by us. Will this lead to a goal for us? Maybe. Oh, there we go. Oh, what are you doing? Look yeah, at because he's not right footed, is he? Louis, that, Louis, that would have been better with a right footed player. And, but what can you do about it? Right, we would have to take a player off. Mellor's had to come on for uh, Moraes. Which actually is better because Mellor is a better player than Moraes. So, yeah. Quite a quiet game for highlights so far. Oh, Vivers is injured. Jesus Christ, two players off already in first half. Probably have to take Bar off as well at some point. Ruiz in the corner. It's defended well by Celtic. Mela now. Will this lead to another chance for us? Petrovic. Ruiz. Good ball. Great goal. And Yamu. Fifth goal of the season for him. Important goal as well. Get in. But still a lot of the game to play and we've got some very knappy players and it's only half time. Uh, okay. Hearts are still drawing. All right, Ashby needs to come off. Oh, we can't take any more players off. That's great. We've used up all our subs. We've got very knackered uh, fullbacks here, so I think Celtic are going to take a very good advantage of that. Hearts are winning as well. Let's hope that for the best here that Celtic are just not going to score in the next 10 minutes of the game. Every minute that goes by, it's better for us. Keep going, keep going. No more highlights, please. Ah, crud. Hopefully this is our goal. Right, Ashby, can we get another goal, please, uh, Rafe? Rafe Rovers, settle my nerves a bit. Oh, that was a bit of a... Bit of a shot and a half, that was by Mulligetta. Right, Ruiz, the corner. Now, we did do well with corners against Celtic last game we played them when we beat them 3-0, so you never know. We, uh, uh, right. right. Play, very defensive. Let's go that one. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, get in. Whew. Great victory over Celtic there. At least we're doing well against them in the head-to-heads for the season so far. Uh, but yeah, we are now top of the league, neck and neck, on, neck and neck with points with Celtic. So that's good. 
good way to end the episode. Right then, on that, oh, let me just see what if there's anything worth mentioning on here. Marais is injured again. We're going to look to get rid of him at some point in January. So, yeah, so good way to end the episode. Again, I apologise for all the technical issues we've been having. Uh, eventually, one day, I will get a mic that isn't so dodgy and we'll be all right. But anyway, cheers and enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Bye.